Sometimes when you work with plaster, it's really nice to give it a coating um, so that you can color it. A lot of times people can just paint on plaster, and you could certainly use watercolors or acrylics. But I find that adding a coating of tissue paper is really lovely. All you have to do is take the paper and shred it. You want to have pieces that are like a little smaller than the palm of your hand. Um, that seems to work well. If you go even smaller, you can get a lot more detail in it. And it's fine to kind of mix and match colors uh, as you work. And this way, the whole surface doesn't have to be painted because once you add the tissue paper on there, it has its color. Later on, you can go back with brushes and paint and add little details. So the use, to use this, I have a mixture of half glue, half water. I go ahead and I paint it on the surface where I want the tissue to go. I can use the brush to pick up that tissue, put it down, and then I put another coat of glue on top of that. And I make sure that the paper is adhering all the way down so there's no wrinkles on it. And then I'm going to add some more glue where I want to have another color, and these are going to overlap a little bit. So again, picking it up with the brush, putting it down. You'll notice that my hands stay pretty clean during this process, so that's a nice benefit to this. Again, laying it down. Now, you could cut your paper into little pieces, but I find that the ripped edges help it hold on to the surface really well. And I actually like the look of that even a little bit better. Again, adding another piece putting a little glue on top until your whole surface is covered. Now instead of glue, you can also use clear acrylic paint. That will also work and actually takes paint a little bit better if you're going to be using acrylics. Otherwise, glue works just fine and you can get that in gallons pretty cheaply. Um, the only other concern is that we've got glue in the brush, so it's very important to make sure you have a can of water available so that while you are not working on your piece, you can keep that stored in a can. Um, and then at the end of the class, you're going to need to wash out your brush really well. The problem, however, is that glue, when you clean out your brush, doesn't leave a color. So you need to squeeze the brush at the base and make sure the water comes out clear. If it looks a little milky, then there's probably some glue left in the brush. And if you let that dry, it's going to ruin your brush. So that's the only uh, thing you really have to pay attention to, is that the, gl the glue in the brushes is cleaned very, very well.